day 68. Got the tents rolled up, rolling up the kitchen, packing our stuff up to ride the rubies. Ride the ruby, ruby horse, huh? Miss Ruby. Had a beautiful morning, beautiful view, good weather. We're going to pack up and ride down to the Triple Creek Ranch this morning. Well, it's going to probably take us all day to get there. Like I said, uh, on X, the closer we get it, the further it says it was away. And it's kind of interesting how, how far it really is. But we won't get there until we get there. Here we are, all packed up now, ready to head out. Thanks for Claire to get on her saddle, and we'll be heading to town. Once again, we got a traffic jam. All up here, Ruby, because we got some logs across the road. And there's no way around them. On either side, look at that. Oh, and looks like up there too. So here I go with my trusty silky saw. This isn't very big, but man, it does wonders. I wish I would have got a bigger one now, but this one has done the trick. Good thing the trail don't go that way. <laughs> it goes this way. Most of the part, this is all fallen and people have cleared it out, but there's just a few snagglers like that one that still fall occasionally. There's still a few more to fall, but looks like the whole hillsides fell there. Look, that one over there just fell not too long ago, but somebody's already cut it. I feel like somebody comes through here once in a while. So, not too bad. Yeah, look at all this. This would never be a good trail if somebody didn't maintain it. Oh, look. Another one. Yay. Well, got that one out of the way. And we, just as I was cutting that one, some hikers come by and said, we're good the rest of the way. So, that's good. We'll see if some have fallen between here and there. Oh, look at this. All the remnants of an old log cabin. That would have been cool right here. Here we're still on the Gore Trail. And here comes the girls. Cool. Mm -hmm. Thirsty ponies.
Trail's just getting better and better. The closer we get to town, glad you're not. Looks like the top again. There's the back side of Eagle's Nest. Just come out to where we could see the big mountains to the south. That's kind of what we're up against going out of Silverthorn to see what we can do. Oh, just had to saw another tree. Went clear across. That piece right there. Out of the way. Looks like somebody had to saw that one. Wonder how they moved it. That's a big log to move. Must have had some horsepower or something. Hmm. Well, there was more. I don't think they came this far. Ended up a couple more spots. We had to cut some deadfall. Now we're really climbing. Gonna get up around 10,000 feet and then drop back down. He's bringing up the rear. Here we are on the road coming down into the valley here, the Triple Creek Ranch. What a valley. Look at that, the Triple Creek Ranch. Oh, that's cool. Riding up the driveway to the place. <laughs> it's just a hay rake. 
see if we can't find anybody. Wow, this is a nice place. Oh, what's and what's your name? You're Rudy too? Yeah. Rudy Jr. Oh. Man, this is freaking awesome. You're a lucky kid. You know? Huh? Oh no. Hattie found the water. <laughs> Come on, Ruby. Easy. Which way? Where? What are you thinking? Uh, you guys can unstab here or unstab whatever you want. Okay. Wow, they did it. So here we are in <laughs> Rudy's truck, ranch trucks, flatbed. I had to go to the grocery store. No bags. <laughs> it's Colorado. Yeah. They got their feet all over the top of it. And yeah. She had a little stuff on her lap. <laughs> yeah. Cozy yeah. better hold on to the stuff on the dash too. <laughs> yeah, Take get all that stuff off. Pockets. Oh yeah, all the pockets sure are full of stuff. <laughs> we didn't think we needed that much stuff, but holy crap. How are we gonna pack it all? <laughs> Alright, back to the ranch we go.